man, here we go guys. I'm gonna have a little talk with y'all. Before I start the video, I want to show you guys where I'm at. I am stationed in California. I extended my contract for three more months. And this is my first time actually filming outside. Okay, and I hope you can hear me. It's a little windy. I will be using this camera with a microphone, but it does not have a wind cover. So I hope this video comes out okay with the sound. Here in California, it's really hard to find a place where it's secluded where there are no people where there are no cars and all that i drove everywhere and i don't know how i came across this lot but i did <laughs> it's literally like it's a parking lot but it's completely empty i hope i don't get uh kicked out uh during this video but we're gonna try it out so i'm gonna go ahead and sit down in my jeep in the back seat and i'm gonna talk to you guys this is a serious video this is not clickbait this is not a prank it's not a joke this is some real shit and you're just gonna have to stay tuned and watch the video you're gonna do this video with me okay because you've been with me everywhere you've been on this little journey with me for four years okay four motherfucking years I know I did a prank video not too long ago talking about quitting YouTube it was really a joke, but I guess a part of me really wanted to leave. But I didn't know if it was a temporary feeling. Um, but no, it has not gone away. I've been on YouTube for five total years. Two years vlogging with Bliss and Pris, and three years here on Bliss Uncensored, and it's been a long journey, okay? It's been a fun, exciting, controversial journey, but it's been a good one. So you guys are probably wondering why I'm making this decision, and it's pretty simple stress stress that's all stress I'm a Pisces born March 11th 1985 I am 37 years old and I am a creative person okay and I try different ways to use my creative outlet and making videos has been a big part of it which is why I have a YouTube channel hi baby Hi, baby. I just started TikTok a few months ago and I'm doing great there. So this might be a little bit surprising to everyone. I don't do well with stress, never have my whole life. I don't vent. I don't let things out as much as I should. I don't have people who are close to me that I'm able to do that with, which is why I usually talk to you guys, strangers, people I have never met in my life. But think about it, guys. When I make these videos, I'm literally by myself the camera and me so it's pretty much like a life diary on video yet the only difference is it's not for my private consumption it's also public where strangers I have never met watch and see my journey in life um, I tell you guys a lot of things I don't tell you everything like I don't I have not told you how my best friend passed away she passed away five years ago um, my best friend of 19 years um, I have not told you how my little cousin passed. He was 18, I was 19 at the time. That was 17 years ago. And I have not told you how, my, how his brother passed and he passed away just a few months ago. But these three people were really close in my life. They were more like siblings to me. And I don't have them anymore, you get me? So I don't know how to, there's no, there's no correct way to mourn, but there are toxic ways to mourn. And I think lately I've been doing that. I'm not gonna go deep into it, but um, it's opened up a lot of wounds. Once my cousin passed, I have not really mourned my best friend's death. And it's stressful. And I'm also dealing with something else that I don't wanna put out there yet. And I know when I'm stressed, is when I'm getting moody. Everything is annoying me. Everything is irritating. Everybody's irritating. People bother the fuck out of me. <laughs> so that's how I know I'm stressed out. Um, but it's never stopped me from filming. But this time it's different. I'm feeling numb. And don't worry guys, I am not in depression. I've been out of depression for a good 
seven months maybe i'm not quite sure but i've been out of it i know when i'm depressed and it's not it but i don't want to get back to it so i have to make better decisions and i've noticed that i'm getting stressed also because i'm slouching a lot i'm always down like looking down while i'm walking on my fucking phone constantly just scrolling really looking at nothing and i'm just my mind won't stop working i have anxiety so it just won't stop for a second to for me to breathe a little bit i'm always thinking about the next video to make on tiktok which is crazy and all of a sudden i'm in pain physical pain it started back here behind my neck then it went over to my arm and as time passed it reached over to the left side i have been in pain in two and a half weeks it came to the point where I called off work because I couldn't come to work. It was just that painful. I went to go get a massage. It helped. Turns out I, my body is warning me, okay? My body is telling me, bitch, you need to stop. You need to pause for a second. What is important to you in your life? What is it that you need to do to not fall back into depression? It's simple. For me, it's to relieve stress, it's to remove any stress factors in your life. Because now it's fucking with my money, because if I have to call off work, that's a problem. I have never had to call off work for something physical, okay, other than getting sick. I'm still in pain, it's been three weeks now, and I'm still in pain. This is stress related, it's stress induced. So I'm not going to quit work, obviously, because that's where I make my income, and that's where I make really good money, and I love what I do. So that's not gonna change. What else is distracting me? My phone. My phone, I'm constantly looking down, giving me improper posture. It's always slouching down, which obviously can have caused a lot of the tension. I was, I think I was 29 years old and I decided to disconnect my cell phone. And I did that. I had no cell phone for one year. I kept a computer desktop at home and I had a home phone. But I did go a full year without it and it felt very liberating, very free. And people weren't bothering me for favors. People weren't asking me for shit because they couldn't reach me anyways. And if they needed to ask for something, they needed to actually talk to me and not just send me a text. <laughs> And I realized quickly that not that many people reached out to me, even with a phone at home. So that just goes to show you who actually cares, you know, about what you're up to, how you're doing, stuff like that, you know. They're nosy. That's what social media is. You know, people want to know all, about, all of your business by just looking, by watching what you're posting. But they won't re actually reach out to you to see how you're doing or to hang out, you know. And so I realized that quickly. Uh, when I went without a cell phone for a year. I would have kept going without a cell phone, but that's when I met my ex-wife, and she told me, you need a phone. <laughs> if you want us to communicate, you need a phone, which is why I've had my cell phone since then. Here I am now in physical pain, stressed the fuck out, and I believe that social media is one of my stressors, and that is something that I can eliminate. So. That being said, I will be logging off of Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and YouTube. All my social media platforms I'm getting rid of for one year. People might find that a little bit extreme. I don't. When you find that shit to be extreme, there's a problem there. That, Cause y'all, that ain't life. People are, on, people are on social media constantly and comparing their lives to others. They look happy, they're in a relationship, they have a big house, they have a nice car, they have money, they're traveling. And they compare all that to theirs, as if their life isn't great. When in fact, you are blessed to have a, pla a roof over your head, clothes on your back, food on your table, and a shower to bathe in. Some of y'all have family, some of y'all have kids, a partner. Yet you're still comparing your life to other people on social media. And that is what makes you unhappy. Not realizing how blessed you really are. Social media can be great because you get to stay in contact with people that you wouldn't have otherwise from all over the world. 
but it can also be toxic. For me, it's more of a stressor because not only am I a viewer, a follower, a subscriber, I am also a content creator. I can be at work, I can be in bed at night trying to go to bed, I can be in the shower, I can be running errands, and my mind is thinking about what video to create. What video can I do next? How many views will this have? How many views will that have? And it's just, it's just stressful, you know? It's fun when it's no longer fun. You get what I'm saying? What's hard for me about leaving social media is my supporters. That's gonna be hard for me because I know my supporters have followed me for five years and that's gonna be the hard part. I know I'm gonna lose some of you guys and that's okay. Because even when I did that little prank, I lost a few subs and I was very, and it's not that I was surprised because it's kind of expected. It's just, it still sucks, okay? When you feel like your, your followers are loyal to you and are still here for whenever you wanna come back, that's not reality. People don't have patience for that. They move on to the next content creator. And I understand that, which is why I need to not do things just to make others happy. Because by the end of the day, I'm sorry y'all, but some of y'all are temporary. Y'all ain't really here for the long run. But I'll soon find out in one year because after one year of no social media I will be coming back to make videos and I will see where my sub count is when I come back <laughs> so I hope you guys are still here thank you for those that will stay and for those who leave it's okay no love lost here so just to get straight to the point I will not be using Facebook at all I will not be using TikTok at all. I will not be using Instagram at all. But I will still be a viewer on YouTube. I like watching podcasts and other reaction channels. So I will still be knowing what's going on on YouTube as a viewer. But I will, but I will be logged off of my account. I am not going to see what's going on there. <laughs> it's pretty interesting because when I come back after a year, I will be logging in to TikTok and things might be different. I don't know where TikTok's gonna be in a year. Don't know where Instagram's gonna be in a year. Facebook, I mean, Facebook is Facebook. It is what it is. And when it comes to YouTube, I will already know what's going on because I've been a viewer still. Oh man, guys. Uh, but I don't want to leave you guys with just this video and saying goodbye. I still wanna talk to you guys one last time. I don't know what day I will be doing it. It will be sometime this week where I'm going to go live. I want to go live for two hours because I do want to talk to everybody before I log off. So, if you guys want to comment in this video, you guys can go ahead and comment. I will be responding to you guys there as well. But starting today, I am logging off all of social media except YouTube. Um, but once I get off live, on YouTube, I will be logging off. But stay tuned, I will post this week and I will let you know when I'm going live. I will be back, what's today's date? What's today's date, baby? What's today's date? April 24th? It's April 24th, baby? Oh, I love you so much. I love him, I love him. What, baby, you wanna say bye to them too? Oh, my baby boy, I love you. So today's April 24th, 2022. I will log in to all of my social media accounts on April 24th, 2023. So please stay tuned guys and thank you for this wonderful journey that I've been on, this ups and downs with all these YouTubers. For everyone who's defended me, for everyone who's attacked me, thank y'all for still watching and supporting my channels and all of my accounts. I thank you guys so much and by the way I'm still a creator so I will still be filming while I'm gone but on my time whenever I feel like it without any pressure without any schedule without having to edit real fast and get everything out just to give you guys something no I will still be documenting my experience this next following year but I will be keeping it in my laptop and I will be posting all that 
when I come back. So you guys won't miss anything. I will literally pick up where I left off. So you guys will see everything that I've been doing during this time off. Oh. It's gonna be amazing. I'm gonna have a lot more freedom. I'm, I'm not gonna be on my phone at that much anymore. <laughs> There's nothing to scroll. And I will be more present in the moment. And I will be meeting people without any distractions. I will be living life for what it is and not for others to watch. So, April 24th, 2023 is when I will be back. And stay tuned for my live coming up sometime this week. For the last time on some real shit, <laughs> I will see you guys in a year. Peace.